He's back. Guess who's back? Wait, this this gets us on to hold on before we start. Oh. This is uh Riger rrr, Gorgeous George. Topical. And I I, I replied That's to how him, say that. Like George a, Galloway. Yep. Yeah, like a topical like a hemorrhoid cream. But, George Galloway uh, is the, the, the supreme carpet bagger. Oh I, he, he's he, the thing about him is he's a Dundee loon. He's across the, the street from me. Little Tipperary, little tip. Yep, tip. He's a fucking Randy cunt. He sat. He stood up in a. He's one. He's a dangerous man because he's a, he, his vanity knows no depth. It's just endless. You know what it is? Yeah. The Johnny hat. He, well, that's because he's bald, mate. Oh, it's right. just that's why you wear a hat. That's because no I'm convinced. cold. No, you're not convincing anybody. He was. He sat. He stood up at a Labour Party conference and said he had sexual experience of most of the guys' wives. He knew all he'd fucked all their wives. He said that in a conference. So then he did his Saddam Hussein where he filleted them right in front of the world's audience. He did. Then he went in front of the, the Congress. Was it Congress? He's if he wasn't from? such a cunt, that moment where he went in front of Congress and just told them a fuck off yeah. would have been... It's a film. It's great. It's great, but he's a cunt. But he's a cunt. He, did the, he pretended to be a cat with Rula Lenska. He did. When he was licking out I hand. remember I said to my friend, I went, He's a politician. What's he doing? Well, he my was... friend. Well, okay, but my friend goes like this: What someone does in uh, their private life, I went. He's on telly live yeah. doing it. That's not private life. So he he he's financially, well, politics a dirty business, but there's a lot of money resting in some accounts somewhere. Shenanigans. He was working for the Russian TV, like yeah, old, RT, Alec, like, yeah, hey, Alex Salmon and him. They'd went across. They were useful idiots. His last gig. Was working for Chinese state television. Oh Jesus! So the Chinese, he, he was just, like saying how terrible the West was while working for the Chinese. He so doesn't then, care. Busy from that, he's just ru- rushed back to Rochdale. It's a single issue campaign. I don't think Labour ran. Well, no, the Labour guy was thrown out of the party for anti-Semitism. That's right. But he would have won that Labour guy. Oh, but it's Galloway's just, seen it's an opportunity. Mess. Be speaking like. He's speaking as if this is a change of politics. This is world change. Yeah, it's not. No, he'll be there. He'll do. No, he'll never be there. He I've won't. noticed though, he he was wearing his John A. He he has the same fashion sense of Michael Flatley in Blackbird. Yeah, but now he's Where's getting a, a long, bit older. His eyes have. He's had his eyes done. He's, he's had, getting a bit older, and his body's sagging within his own suit yeah, now. Yeah. So he's just. It's quite funny. He's, but what what I do like about him, I'll give him this: Scottish people. The, the great problem of the Scottish nation will, will lack a bit of self-confidence. It's just a thing. That's it's, true. You, you, Abdi knows your grandmother. Everybody's keeping each other down. Okay. And yeah. George Galloway, is he's just the ego. He's shameless. He's just the ego. You can't there's do nothing any, else. They think, they think they'll shame him. And as we said before, there's something to be said for a little bit of shame. He has none. He has none. Imagine if he was in charge. Oh, God almighty. So he'll do this. He won't but hurt and he'll fuck off somewhere. I said that to someone this morning. From Lochie, he's been an MP I'm before, from. so he's still got his MP's pension. It's ridiculous. From Lochie, where I'm from, you've got Brian Cox, the uh, actor, with his big craggy face and attitude. Yeah, big attitude. Right? You've got this George Galloway, who's uh, just an embarrassment, but the real political power and star power. Me, mm. I'm from there. You don't. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We'll have a Nobel Prize winner from like, oh, around They'd, the corner. That's that's good. You remember, but, um, what was that thing that knit you in the fat? The thing with the two guys, they're in the lift going, 11, 11. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the show called? Can't remember, but, but I know matter. the clip from YouTube. But they yeah. did one famously where a guy <clears throat> run, there's a there's a roundabout <laughs> in okay. his tune and it's problem. So he runs for office and hil- hilariously ends up as prime minister. Okay. Through this single issue. You're looking at me. Yeah. We are on the same page. Through this here. single issue. I think I'll do it. And then he ends up he ends up as Prime Minister and then has to resign because the, the issue with the roundabout doesn't get resolved. Oh so he stepped yeah. out. So it, it's like remember that Martin guy that wore the white suit? Remember he got, Yes. He was a morals guy and he yeah. was just a single issue. Single it's, single issue. Yeah. This is I just I'll choose any random issue. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna run I'm going to apply. Yeah. Because it's only a few pounds. Yeah. And then I'm going to get myself on the ballot. Here's one dog shit in Lockheed High Street. Just say there's too yeah, much. Yeah, we need dog more. Shit. No, less. 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 That's <laughs> the, I see. Right. I'm <laughs> learning. It's my first day. You say, we want, we want an equilibrium. 
We want equal parts dog shit and human shit. Well, that's uh, fair. The smell, the, the smell of lock, he's in our co- our Now co- we're talking yeah, a buzzword. Co- we're in there. No, here's one. What? Bring back the white dog shit. Oh, God, that we can only dream. I don't think you can do that now. I think you're talking utopia. Bone meal. Bone meal. I think you're talking so utopia. So Galloway's at it. He's at it, so he's back. Um, it's embarrassing. He wears a cravat. He's a fucking dickhead. But he's just shameless. Shameless. How, the thing is, right, when you're from But Lockheed, they're all pieces of shit. Well, when you're from Lockheed, there's a certain amount of shame that you're born with. You don't get original sin in Lockheed. You just get uh, original... Tip, oh, the tip. Oh, but he has evolved out of it. Yeah. So I think people from Lockheed need to keep their shame because that's what I'd you be get. I'd interested to know how much he's worth. Is he, is he converted to Islam? I think he might have. I think whatever suits that day, he'll he'll <laughs> when he'll he was sort in China, he probably he wasn't helping out the Ouija's when he was in China. No, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> he's convenient. Next one. Uh huh. Raquel Welsh's badger here. At least he's pronouncing his name uh-huh. correctly. That's now. good. You've got your hang of it. Crunchy or smooth? Crunchy. Smooth makes you sick. He's eating peanut butter. Yeah. Smooth makes you smooth sick as fuck. Like, it's too baby foody. I hate it. You ever seen that when they give like a peanut butter to a horse or a dog? No, well, stop that, stop that. Brown or white, neither, in the middle, 50-50. Brown or white, what? Well, it's going to be bread, isn't it? No, I like brown bread. 50-50. Don't like white because it hurts your teeth. Brown tastes horrible. No, brown... In between. No, you're, spe- in between. you're speaking mighty white. That's the only in-between option, mighty white. No, it's not, 50-50. That's mighty white, mate. No, it's not. That's what mighty, mighty white... white was more white than it was brown. Mighty white. It wasn't in no, the middle. Mighty white was the, no, no. Th- that needle had tilted like, towards I like, white. I like a batch loaf. No, uh, Mighty White would still hurt your teeth. Oh. Horrible. And strawberry or marmalade, raspberry. They're both horrible. The greatest jam is rhubarb and ginger. That is really nice because uh, it's got that toppiness to it. I like you it. You know what's fallen out of favour? But tart not really raspberry. fallen out of favour. What? Lemon curd. I knew you were going to say that. I love I knew you were going to say it because you're old. And old I love people, lemon curd. I should have said it because old people love lemon curd. I love lemon curd. One time I got lemon cheese. What? Lemon cheese. I think it was off. I know I love Marmalade's really nice, but it's got oh. to be the thick cut slice. I don't like it. On to- well buttered toast. No, I don't like marmalade. It's, it's better the adult taste. No, but what? And you're about- a child. Yeah, you exactly. probably. I like. No, nah, if I went into your this cupboard, this is an old person talking. When I went into your cupboard, uh-huh. all the labels: red, black, brown. Can never. No one's got. It's all just. No, it's all in colour. You're correct. Cup. There wouldn't be a Bon Marie jam that lovely came with the white and raspberry. It's just yeah, raspberry, red. a raspberry, red. And a- and you get there's one in Tesco's I can't remember its name, but you can barely. It's so sharp. You know, mm, you know, Jude the War. Yeah, this is true. Okay. Next to the whale meat, they had raspberry jam, but there wasn't enough raspberry. They used to make it make it with neeps, and they'd put. This is true. Mm-hmm. Little flecks of wood to stim- simulate the the. Pips. But you chew on them, so it's well, that's the fine. I, th- I would eat that. And I've told this story before, but for anyone who hasn't heard it, in Dundee. In the summer, all the poor kids, you don't get it now. The, no, they're, this, all dead. they're all dead. This bus would come around the schemes and it had no windows on it because mm-hmm. all the kids kicked the windows out. There was uh, not a, a double decker okay, with okay. no windows. Okay. This thing was like from the 60s uh-huh. and it was chaos. It was like Lord of the Flies and the bus would come around and pick was it you up. It's called Dead Reckoning. It's something like okay. that. And you'd jump on the bus uh-huh. and it'd take you out to the fields and you'd pick berries all oh, day. Oh. Now you're paid by the weight. You're pissing it. You're pissing it. That's common. And the berries you can't, would soak it you up. You can't piss in strawberries, only raspberries. No, not, they'll just float. Float. Raspberries will just absorb it. And you had beautiful. A gooseberry will bring them. But so. you couldn't overdo it. No. Right? So if it, anyone needed a piss, everyone ran over with their buckets and you went and got some and just swilled it in. And then you got extra money. So well, that's I why I want to eat locally before, made raspberries. Because during the war, my grandfather was away <laughs> fighting. He, my grandma was in the house herself, obviously. And there was a chap at her door, and it was a traveller guy, a gypsy guy. Okay. And he was, the gypsies at that time would actually do things like, they'd, they'd repair pans and pots yeah, and yeah, things yeah. and stuff. Tinkers, so I called it at the time. And uh, he said, is there any jobs needing doing? And she'd said, no, he, there's some stuff in the garden needing doing. So she, she, she'd done all this. She wasn't going to let him in the house. Yeah. But uh, she had them out in the garden, and she went and made them a cup of tea and homemade pancakes and jam and that. And he'd said to her, is this bought? Or homemade jam 
And she says it's homemade. And he says, that's okay then. And she was a bit offended mm -hmm. by this. And she said, well, because we pish in the yeah. raspberries. Yeah. I've never had locally made Once you see, jam. once I always like, the thing of mine, I like to peer behind the curtain. Mm -hmm. Not these curtains, but most curtains. And I want to see how things are made. But the problem is, like, Cape Ross is a stepdad. He's a vegetarian. Do you know why he's a vegetarian? Because he used to piss in everything. No. Well, oh. he, no, it's Ross does that. Oh. He was a health and safety hygiene guy oh, for slaughterhouses. He knows what's going stuff. on. And he just said, no, nah, stop. It's disgusting. Yeah. That, so I if, could understand if, that. If, 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 if the what, because if saying that, it's a weird thing. You'd think to yourself, you didn't want kids, if there was, if the vegetarian lobby were trying to stop people from eating meat, mm -hmm. take all the kids at school when they're four or five to a slaughterhouse. Oh, it'll soon stop And it. then offer them a pie afterwards. Yeah. But the vegetarians would say, it'll put everybody off. No, I watched a thing about da the Danish pig industry, pork mm -hmm. bacon industry. Kids go and see the entire process. And they love bacon. They love bacon. It's just the way it goes. We're still humans. We're still, I know. Yeah, that's still part of it. If you kill something yourself, yeah. does it taste better? Can if you pick an apple from a tree... I remember being in Greece and holiday and getting a an orange, it has more value. an orange from a tree and it's just delicious. I remember I used to shoot. Can if you if, you if you grow a tatty and then eat it, it's the best tatty. There ever. was a, you you'd shoot a goose, mm -hmm. bring it home. Anything Did I shot, slam it? I had to. No, you didn't. Anything I shot, you had to clean it and eat yeah, it. You yeah. didn't get away with it, right? Mm -hmm. So I remember cleaning it. Good eating on a goose. Worst smell ever, cleaning a goose. The worst smell, but. You, you get the goose and, you, and when you were eating it It certainly had more value Yeah It was more important mm -hmm. I do remember that, that goose has had a good life Not really He's been speaking to its goose wife like that It just, just blew its fucking brains out bad just blew its brains out Anyway On to the next one that, I can was, picture was a good question Thanks, I can Raquel. picture you standing up to your neck in water With one of those geese models on your top of your head <laughs> I no, we had waders ah. and we'd go out. Did you have the, a the water. No, no, because no, no. what happens is the geese would land mm. on the the, the tide, the business. and they would just walk in with the tide. Yeah, and then you just and wait. in the dark, you could just start to see them moving. Yeah. And it was hard to judge the range, but once you got to a bit of range, uh, blam! My dad used to go shooting stuff in the early morning, and he'd catch all the. <laughs> Imagine this happened to you. He'd catch all the pigeons sleeping. <laughs> In the forestry commission, they'd, at the sides of the fields, yeah, at the kind of demarcation, but they'd be on the low branches, and he'd just go bah, bah, bah. Yeah, he used to. Sure. Why well, somebody shot you just as you're waking up? We, we, we were cruel. Ah. This is from. Wait, who's this from? Who's this from? I Warren. Okay. Uh, this was from uh, Tuesday. It came through late. Good day, <coughs> good day, me old chippers. Stealth camping oh. is a big thing on YouTube. It's weird with many interesting characters. The Blot Outdoor channel based around no, Sunderland no, no. is a hoop. No. 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 Do you know about this? I have a very Hold strong... Hold on. Let's get on okay. to the end of it. Would you say stealth camping would be wise... Old fair... Uh, wise... Sorry. Would be wise... I've got the wrong glasses on. Around fair old Dundee. No. Signing off from dung a dung a ding a bong Warren. Right. Okay. This, you've got it. Okay, is, you've started he, he something, stumbled Warren. on a pet subject of Oh, mine. shit. The king of the stealth camp... The king. Yeah. Undisputed, greatest of all time is a guy called Steve Wallace. Steve Wallace is this guy, Nanek, yeah. Canadian. He, he he lived in his truck. For, he had a very sad life. Mm -hmm. He kind of like was a now hippie. his wife died. He yes. was a hippie without the good stuff. Beautiful wife died suddenly in yeah. her sleep. And he's like a ruined man. Yeah. And it's just, he was always sad. Then his wife gave him joy. Now she's died. But he's got some of the trappings of wealth because he's it's a it channel does quite well. A lot of people have copied him. A lot. The only one that's any good. Yeah. Now listen to me, Warren, because oh. I know what I'm talking about is Sam uh, and, Raquel. Sam. Uh, eh? Raquel's his name. No, this is well, Warren. You, oh God, I'm getting. They're he all... can't. He fucking set up this stupid section and doesn't even know how it works. Warren, I apologise. It was it was Raquel with the jam question, which was obviously a deeper, it's, well thought out question. I do apologise. Sam Warren. Bananas does, and before we start, <laughs> I'll take a. F he says I'll take a sip out of the old banana flask, and he's got a banana flask with whiskey in it. Right. Steve Wallace has his step two, which is a beer. All of these men have the same thing in common. Mm -hmm. All they want to do, they don't want to sit in the house and drink. 
so they go stealth camping and then drink. It's no different for a guy sitting on a park bench and drinking. In Dark Highlands, that's what they were doing in yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's then, what we did. And then killed themselves with sick So in the Steve, Steve Wallace, he's leaning into it because he's hapless. He's no a guy that like gets flints and lights a fire. He just puts the tent down and just sits. He, he uses fire lighters. He just cries. He, just, he uses, yeah. yeah. Sam Bananas is good, although he's got a dog and it cut his ear, so he cancelled the camp to go home. Oh. He's an idiot in that regard. Well, I would do but that. But there's as a well. guy blot, there's not blot in the landscape, and he's the most annoying man. And he goes, Morning, man, dingoes. What? It's a word you can't use anymore. I wouldn't. He goes camping with a small person <laughs> and he'll say, like, I'm just going for a, he says, I'm going for a Bradley Pitt. And he's got this old language to himself. But he does stuff where he'll sleep behind a Which gra- makes it worse. It'll be in a graveyard. Right. And then he, I watched one, that's when I stopped, it was a hate watch. I had to stop watching him because he had a, he drinks whiskey. His thing's a glass of whiskey. And he had a bottle of Macallan. A really expensive bottle of Macallan. Why? And he was just drinking it. But I thought he was faking it because the label was hanging off. Whiskey labels don't just peel off. So he'd faked he'd an expensive bottle of whiskey. Oh, dear. He goes, morning, man, dingoes. I don't and think that wife, should be said. I have a, I have a, I have <laughs> oh a theory. Oh, my God. His wife's like that. Out the house. Yeah. And the minute There's he's out the doors, that. the neighbour's coming in and fucking riding her. Well, that was a, it was in a, a report in America many years ago. And they found that a lot of uh, people, especially men in the, uh, from the 50s and 60s, yeah. when they died, they suddenly found there was, they had rented a house somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And they went, what the fuck's this? There's another family, there's an affair, a seat and a, a TV. Yeah, yeah. They'd just go in and sit down for a bit of An old quiet. friend of mine. And it was like yeah. one in 30 people yeah. that died had this. Yeah, an old friend That's of really mine high. had that. He had just like a place he could sit and watch telly and have a drink. Mm-hmm. A, a, a solitude. Here, what's happening is people are renting garages or storage. Mate. And they go and sit. Oh, Mate. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is what this is. I didn't this think. Is, you're in the middle of it. You're in one within another one. And you, yeah. Take you mocking people. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's you. You know what? I come in early so I can sit and just it's have a wee read. <laughs> But God. there's another guy, and I can't. Remember, I think oh. he's called Bonnie Lad or something, and he's this weird guy. I, I you see, I build a backstory on him, and I'm convinced this particular guy's done time for like he's <laughs> sleeping oh, yeah. beyond the age. But, it's oh, yeah, okay. but he he was in Edinburgh, and he just slept Arthur's seat area, just in the just in this long grass. I was coming. But he back. went to Thailand, and a dog bit him in the arse. It's it's a weird sub genre of the internet. Well, I didn't I didn't sleep rough. Like deliberately, occasionally, oh. if I was traveling about, you'd get caught, you'd miss a train. Yeah, yeah. And I was traveling up from, I'm going to say, Orleans, I think it was. Mm-hmm. And I had to change trains, and it was like a three hour wait. Yeah. In the middle of the night in France, in some yeah, yeah. unknown tiny uh, train state. I don't even know where it was. So I'm lying on a bench, and it was this very modern but empty train yeah. station. And I fell asleep, and I woke up. With a tramp masturbating about six inches from my face. Were you looking in a mirror? Was there a highly polished bit I never of thought because I just went back to sleep again. No, I, I slept rough in Glasgow one time. Mm-hmm. I'd went through to Glasgow for the day and got steaming drunk and missed my train. So I thought, what the fuck am I going to do? I didn't have money for a hotel. So I just slept in a bush. In a bush? <laughs> but I had like a a, a, a big jacket, kind of like a parka. Oh, if you just, cover just yourself covered up, myself you're up. Fine. Fell asleep. I've done it. I've I've slept. That's the only time. It's usually I don't think I've done it anywhere in the UK, but all around Europe where it's warmer, you can. Yeah, oh yeah. And I would just go, oh god, I could either get a place tonight or I could just have a wee. The what the problem is, so you don't get a wash in the morning. No, that's true. Can I clean your teeth? But I did know uh, when I was travelling to say Barcelona or Marseille, places like that. Um, I would go to Lyon a lot. Mm, yeah. It was this sort of triangle between um, France and. Uh, Spain that would do I knew every place that you could get a shower Or every place the, the toilets didn't close I know every place in the way home For the pubs where I can go for a sly piss yeah, There you go, you know a wall You know a little yeah, it's yeah. The wee secret. It's the, the same thing The, the same problem thing. is You go to them and other people know them Because it smells bad And you're all standing together having a, yes. having a piss There's there's On the way down to uh, Newcastle mm-hmm. There's a big parking area Which is also Kind of traditional gay nightclub 
So you would stop in this parking area because you're dying for a piss. Aye. But you're looking around. Oh God, there's another there's car a, down there. Oh, what did I do? There's a guy's filling it, filling your pee in a cup and drinking. It was, it was as close as because they'd come around, right? And oh. we'd, and sometimes we'd go down, and we'd stop and we'd get something to eat, and, and we'd go right. We'll stop there. There's no one about. Yeah. And then within 20 seconds, there's three cars about, and there's someone tapping on you. Go, oh, no, 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 go uh, away. They're tapping on your window. Yeah, trousers have been be down, but that was just a that's comfort just, thing. No, that's just for joy. There was a, in, in Muirhead, as a woman I know, she had to move from there because her house was facing onto the woods, and all night long she kept awake because the cars would be going, oh. doggers, and they'd be coming round, and the, the beam would go into her, her, her bedroom window. Oh, I all told night you, long. Crossing Fife, uh -huh. just beside Lady Bank, there's a forest there. Right. I took my Hold friend's on. dog. No, right, I took my friend's dog. Oh, right. oh, it's beautiful black lab, friendliest thing in the world. Oh, with the, I said, you know, the, the ones that just go around smiling and wagging their tail. And uh, I thought, let's dogs can't go. can't smile. They do. They've just got a smile. They, they smile. do. They have a smile. You can tell no, when they they're happy. I'm not no. having that. They wag their tail. Just always happy, smile. right? So I went, come on, dude, let's go for a walk. So I had a torch. Uh -huh. If you if if the torch wasn't on, you might as well just close your eyes. It was easier. Okay. So we get to this bit. And I turned the corner and there's just some cars parked. Uh -huh. So I got to the car park. I thought, we'll turn back. But as I look, there's there's naked people. Well, not naked, <laughs> but from the waist down. Oh, Donald Duck in it. I'm literally... Maybe it was a Disney convention. I went dogging because I'm the only one with a dog. Well, what they do is famously, you take a lead, but no dog. So if a police stop you, you're like, Fido, Fido. Well, I've got a Shame dog. I was, <laughs> right? But it could have been a man dressed as a dog. Oh, God. Oh. Kind of that Japanese guy. Well, I went to, I was selling my wares at this Hold show on. in Glasgow. Your was, my wares, my Your stuff that I make. The stuff oh, that I make. okay. And it was mainly, I didn't know what it was. It was just what we were invited to uh. go. It turns out it was very sex-orientated sort of festival thing. Funny that. And I didn't know. It's amazing know. how you accidentally go to a lot of these things. <laughs> so uh, me and my girlfriend were selling uh -huh. my stuff. It's going quite well. Everyone's been very nice. But there was a guy dressed as a leather dog and his tail was up his arse. But it wasn't just a butt plug. It went out his arse and up to almost his shoulders so and then could... went out. And if you touched that, oh, oh, and he kept bumping into people. I think that was part of it. But anyway, so I'm I'm now dogging and I heard myself go, Whoo! and I made a noise, turned around and me and Oz ran all the way back. Yeah. I was I'll so just... scared. No, you never run, never turn your back on a dogger. Really? That's Is that code. a mistake? That's code. That's like oh, the gaze with the hankies. shit. Yeah. I ran. I really well. I stumbled as well, fast the, as I could. Well, the intense me of forest. A guy I used to work with. His brother was a, a ranger, countryside ranger. Right. I think I've said this before. They found a fuck arena. Yeah. So guys had made they'd cleared a bit of the wood for the fucking. Mm. I think there was a couple logs, oh. and they'd made huts. They weaved branches together, so wank huts all facing the action. But you don't want a draft on your neck when you're no. Wanking. Well, I can listen. I like sex, I like wanking, I like all the stuff that goes with everything's well, very uh, positive. Uh -huh. That is effort. I I lack effort. I went, all right, I'm turned on. Mm -hmm. I'm continued to be turned on to get to the car, uh -huh. to drive across the fife. I'm still turned on to build a fucking bivouac. <laughs> I'm still turned on to, to what? It, it's uh, too much. Yeah, too, you not, I can't, uh, I'm just, no, I'm tired. I want to go much, home. Too much effort. I can't mm, do it. Okay. This is from Tuesday. Andy. Forget that last text. Well, this is from Tuesday, so we'll have. Aye. I haven't seen uh, External Sunshine yet, but it's on my list now. No, don't watch it. That's good. Terrible. I'm listening to the Golden Child soundtrack. It's pretty good. It's fucking great, yeah, isn't it? Ding, 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 ding. It's hot. It's fucking great. He's Charles' like, dance is so good in that. He's great. The monster's a little bit underwhelming. Kill the child. What? He tries to fuck that snake woman and stuff. It's a, uh, it's, it's, it's a wonderful, a wonderful yeah. film. It's, it, the wee kid looks like the, the airbender. It's a wee girl. Is it? Looks like the airbender. Air. It's just a spitting image of the kid out of the crater film. Oh, yeah. not seen, anyway. Okay. I've just eaten five digestive biscuits. They're not my favourite. Plain or chocolate? Probably a chocolate hobnob. What's oh. your favourite biscuit? I love biscuits and I have to cut myself down really because if there's a packet of biscuits, uh, I'll eat the whole lot. Okay. And a digestive, the Tesco's. Tonics are above, pack. mate. Tonics are above. But a jammy dodger. No, it's shit. Can't stop. No, they're just shite. Love them. You get like a toffee one now. Don't like it. It's got to be traditional. Okay. Yeah. Chris McShadowins. Good morning. Oh, no. You too. Oh, here we go. Reading some Dundee headlines, keeping up with the important news as I do. Uh -huh. And I see the council is looking to cut. Uh, teaching positions in an effort to save nearly two million. 
It's chaotic. We're building a super school and there's going to be no teachers in it. Well, what they've decided to do is all the temp, all the trainee teachers, none of them are getting posts. It's fucking... You're fucked. You're fucked. What's the point? It's like planting a tree for the future. I used, to, it, I used to work for a, a, a taxi firm and one of the things they did was train taxi drivers and they uh-huh. got grants essentially to train them. Oh, yeah. But we had so many taxi drivers and not enough taxis. Yeah. There was like 10,000 taxi drivers in Dundee and like 800 cars. No, that sure, was they it. They shot themselves in the foot. It's f- they're fucked. Because it's people are reluctant to go to the teaching anyway because kids are cunts. Oh, that's true. On the same page, I see that the telephone house is going to become luxury student accommodations. Now, here's the telephone problem. Telephone house. I'm not sure which one that is. Is that the one next to the Overgate? Uh, that's a BT place, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, Telephone House, is that the one next to the Salvation Army where BT was? Because oh, BT yeah. are moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I see. Wait a minute. Luxury, student luxury accommodation. Oh, no, that's a waste of time. Those words don't go together. No, they just. When I was a student, I used to shit in a bag and just throw it at the windy. But you lived with your mum and dad. Yeah. Does this seem right? More students with less teachers. Uh, does this seem right? More students with less teachers seem to add up. Uh, but Dundee Council may have learned different kind of maths than I did. No, it's true, dude. It's going to be a disaster. Classes were getting thicker and thicker already, yeah. and now you're taking teachers away. It's and teachers are yeah. vital. Yeah. Well, Aberdeen got rid of all this lollipop, ladies and gentlemen. See, you're you're penny right. The, I can how can many hours a week a lollipop man works? Many. Ten. That's good. It's good hours. Little. What? But that's no saving anything. No, you're not. This you is sack somebody on seventy grand a year who's not doing anything. I worked. I worked at a, a factory, and mm. there were there was problems. Mm. And do you know how you knew there was problems? Mm-hmm. You were there. Well, apart from that, mm-hmm. they took little things away. Yeah, cut backs. Tiny, tiny things that meant nothing. Yeah. What they needed to do was cut the factory in half. Yeah. To ultimately save jobs and save the factory. Yeah, it's a difficult one. But they take little things I away swear and you blind, can see it falling apart. The council's plan yeah. is to not do a thing and then some external persons get to come in and then they get to go, oh, it's nothing we can do and they're going to be savage. Yeah. Because Birmingham is... They've, oh, they're fucked. They've put yeah. their council tax up by 27%. How could that be allowed? Because they've, they've fucked up. They fucked up, and you're you're just yeah, wrecking the swimming people's pool. Lives. They've thrown money upon money at a swimming pool. They've just said they don't know when it'll open again. It'll never open again. Fucking shut it down. If, if is there any somebody could demolish it? Yeah, and they'd be doing Dundee a massive favour. Give me a hammer. Yeah, and a million quid. Yeah, and I'll do because it's going to cost no, more yeah, than a million yeah, yeah, to knock yeah, it no. down. They're just absolutely, there was no insurance done properly. It's a level of stupidness. I remember when the Harris was knocked down, 15 million to knock it down. I would do it for half that. Wild. And I would enjoy every but day. But it's infuriating. I may have made 15 million up, but it was a lot. Anyway, Infuriate. Stacey King. Here he goes. Oh. oh my God. Morning, mofos. Quick update on last week's crapness. Uh, I had a refund on the power line networking thing. Oh, that's good. That's good, that's good. They're usually okay, but I had one in the house for years. It worked fine. Uh-huh. New TV boxes to be delivered today. Uh-huh. And my daughter's rash is slowly receding due to steroid cream. Steroid cream is the greatest thing. During lockdown... So use it. I use it sometimes. Use it sparingly. Very. Um, it thins the skin. Here's one for you. I found this to work. Get yourself some oats. Standard oats, yeah, oats, porridge oats, and eat them. No, oh, put them in your a coffee grinder. Yes, grind them to a fine powder. Right, put them in a pair of tights. Tie a knot in it. I'm getting uncomfortable. Put it in the bath, and make an oat soak bath. And this works. It's wonderful. It's really good for your skin. Don't use harsh stuff like soaps and that. It, it'll all dry skin. An oak soap bath. <coughs> Not a boiling hot bath. Just a slightly warm bath. And then pat yourself dry. Oh. It'll work. It's really well, good for the during skin. during lockdown, I got a spider bite. Remember my picture? Swollen yeah, head, yeah, yeah, eyes yeah. closed. Mm-hmm. Went to the doctor. Did you see the state of the spider, though? Got steroids. Got took a limp. one pill. Yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. Not only... Did the feeling go? Completely gone. Well, it's, you see antihistamines. Just completely gone. It's like antihistamines. Yeah. People have a reaction to an antihistamine. Bang, they're Just fine. gone. It's absolutely yeah. incredible. So that's good. I'm glad to hear that. For the next film, in honour of Carol Weathers, 
Death. Could we oh. watch Action Jack? I've never seen Action no, Jack. I have. I saw in the He's a charmer. He's a charmer. He's, he's got that. He has a twinkle. I like him. Yeah, he's good. We will think about it. And poor Dave Myers died, the hairy biker. Yeah, I didn't but know who pan- he was. Old pancake arse. I didn't know who he was until yesterday because yeah. I heard he died poor or something. Guy. Mark Devlin. Oh. Morning, dudes. Hope this text comes in a timely fashion as they always do. Mm. Just wanted to let you know the Berlin Wall has just fallen. Cheeky cunt. It's not my phone. It's not my phone. Things come in late. I get blamed of this. Yeah. Things come in late. That's mm. all your fault. And I'm going to blame them. Thanks, Mark. I'm going to blame them for something else. I'm going to let you know David something. Hasselhoff to blame somehow. I'd blame him for everything. Did you yeah. ever see him on his floor picking a burger off it when his daughter's he's, filming him? He's or did you see him when he's drunk? He's at the oh. airport steaming. He's pissed himself, and they've got him in a go kart thing. Absolutely, golf buggy, a thing. vile person. Now, I'm going to say something. Mm. These fuckers, what our the, listeners, what have they done? Some of them have accused me of spending too much time on nonsense on the internet. You do. Now, if I'd spent too much time looking at nonsense on the internet, you would I have found out last night that Glenn Medeiros is now a high school principal and has two children, one named Cord and one named Lyric? Would I know that? No, I wouldn't. And now you know that. Is that wasting your time? I remember years ago. Yeah. The dying days of Richard and Judy's This Morning career. Yes. And what they did was the internet was burgeoning. It was coming into its own. But the internet and TV don't work. The two, the two of them clash. Because TV, how does TV deal with the internet? Because you just look at the internet, you don't need TV. They had Rufus Hound, one of the worst people known to man. Terrible. He was this morning's internet expert. Oh, did he have a big internet screen behind him? And he was just pointing out funny stories from the internet. Oh, they didn't know what the internet was, did they? They didn't know. They didn't have a clue. They needed a middleman who was that cunt Rufus Hound. Rufus Hound, come on this show so I could kick you the fucking cunt. Nothing's gonna change my love for you. Glenn Medeiros, wonderful. Did you see Jack Black? He's, he's got a bit of a thing going just now. What's that? He sings a... <laughs> got to hand it to him. He sings that wicked game. He's got quite a voice. He has quite a voice, yeah. And he does say, hit me baby one more time. Okay. And he's the voice of Claptrap in the new Borderlands film. Is he? Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Borderlands, the greatest game ever made. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Borderlands 2. Is it as good as Pac-Man? But it's slightly better. Borderlands 1 is wonderful. 2 is amazing. 3 is a pile of shite. But. Is it like. Is it like. It's a shooter looter. I have no idea what that is. Is it like that one. It's wonderful. It's the one called Fortnite. Is it like that? No. No, no, no. No, no please don't tell me anything there's more about it. Story no, no, no. There's I, a world. Honestly, I don't. I notice there's a fallout. Wonderful. There's a Fallout TV show coming on soon. Ugh. It looks quite good. Ugh. It looks quite. There's a guy we know knows. The, the problem is, and this is with Borderlands. Daniela as well, Westbrook. This is with yeah. <laughs> this is all these games. I've said it before. When you're playing the game, you're the star. Yeah. When these films come out, you're just watching something that's over there, so there's something missing. But that's the problem with the world. What? Main character syndrome. Everything. Wait a minute, you are the main character of your yeah, well, situation. But, but, but everyone I'm more of a background dancer. Yeah. You know, not pulling focus. Technology, just... I am I swear we're living in a time of magic. Mm. I think nerd nerd nerdcore mm-hmm. is a problem. Oh yeah. You know how you grew up I know what you're saying. There was there was sci fi, but there was a little bit. You got a little chew of a bit of sci fi. But most of it was just Emmerdale Farm. Yeah. And you get tomorrow's world and me showing you this is the future, but it was all kinda bit shit. Yeah. So there's too much sci fi and shit now. And people in their mind are living in a future that's not really here yet. And it's all I a disagree. bit shit. No. I disagree. And the problem with all your technology and everything, yeah, it's too, it's all got a little bit sleek. Everything there's a bit where the tire meets the road. There's the grime. There's the grease, and you don't see that. There's a thing oh, that, like they're that. trying That's to poetic. sell a thing, and it's um it's like a, a super yacht, but not a super yacht. It's a yacht that the claims get have sixty thousand people living on it. So it's a yacht shaped like a giant turtle. I saw it. And there's houses on it. It's nonsense. Now this isn't real, but people in their mind think that's part of our experience right. this is where it's our like generation. flying cars elon musk is uh, 
he people think he's selling something and he's not he's not yeah the, but they're is, convinced it exists that's a problem because when we were young and this is i don't know if it's a disadvantage or an advantage yeah we definitely look to the future yeah like you're saying now people feel they're in the future you should always be looking ahead yeah. so even in films now i think we've made it it's things that you're like I think we've made uh, it. In Victorian times, they said that everything that's been invented has been invented. Yeah, yeah. I think we're in that sort of period now. They never now. saw the future, quite. They never saw it. And it's Gibbs, like... Well, like William Gibson, he never saw the mobile phone. He he had this vision of the future cyberpunk. The Wright brothers said a, a yeah. plane could never cross the Atlantic. I have been Atlantic. watching, because you know I did the, the Star Trek The Next Generation. Yes. And I went through that. I did too. Lockdown. Yeah, I done that. What I've got on in the back, because the shows Ten I... Man, the best one. The shows I watch. Yeah. And I like to watch them, and I focus on them. I put, have a cup of coffee and I watch them. Um, the last thing I did was say True Detective, for example. Mm -hmm. But then the shows I have on, and I do other stuff while it's on. And my latest one is Voyager, Star Trek Voyager. Okay. And old Jane away sat Starts her, off terrible. But it gets, gets good. Yeah, but she sat at her desk, and she's got a laptop. It's that thick. Yeah. It's this giant thing. Everything's, we've actually in many ways surpassed the next Star Trek, where phones are actually... But if you go back to the 60s uh, and what they were planning for the future yeah. then, we've barely touched that. Yeah. There was a bit more inventive. There yeah. was a bit more... They saw a bit... Mm, yeah. I like... Like, okay, say you watch Avatar. Mm -hmm. Now I enjoy all that. Right, it's okay. all very good. Mm -hmm. But when you see their... their Helicopters essentially just future Apache. Yeah. No, do have something brand new. Yeah. We think... need somebody. We genuinely need somebody who could see the future. Some visionary. Yeah. And the problem is our visionaries are shit. Elon Musk well, is considered a visionary. He is not a visionary. He's no. shit. There's what was the film he just I makes it all up. Quote. He goes on about we'll be in the stars. Focus, God, no, he's thought about that. Before. That Kim Stanley Robinson, yeah. that red was it, red earth, red Mars, blue Mars. You know the mm -hmm. one I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He saw the future. Elon Musk is just cribbing off a load of nerdy shit. He's red. Yeah, it's he's just shit. nonsense. He's not an ideas man. No, there was all one he film. wants is to get a robot he can fuck. That's all. It's all That's this is all about. He wants. Um, but. The the terrible film uh, Aeon Aeon Flux Aeon Flux the cartoon was MTV yeah and then hyper violent yeah the, the shows the the yeah, film is terrible terrible but in the the film they blew dust in your face and that you could communicate and yeah then it was like and then the grass was security grass and you yeah, could okay. put hands on you yeah, yeah, yeah. on your feet that's what I want okay. it's things that you're ridiculous ridiculous but within like ridiculous seen, like, there's ideas more kind of Mobius drawings. Yeah. Technology, you don't know how the fuck it works. That's, yes, that's it. You are more of a, say, alien. Mm -hmm. There's the Nostromo. Yeah. But you can understand the Nostromo. The alien ship, you can't. The that's, technology. That's what so I want. So you like the alien yes. ship. Okay. I want to push Because who was it? Was it ideas. Meads. Eh? Who was the designer for all the Nostromo? He died. Something meets. Oh, yeah, because he originally done it all in bright yellow Ron, and everything. Ron Beautiful. Cobb and someone meets. Beautiful. But it was like the the human mind could understand it. Could yeah. Understand I the... want to see things that you you don't need to know how it works. There's just an idea there. Yeah. There's a concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. what's wrong with that is the future is all just tablets. Yeah. Everyone's, do, 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 and, you yeah. know. and It's ah. going to be wearables, isn't it? If I could get a really decent pair of specs that were like this... Oh, it's coming. And I had headphones in it and I could have a wee screen if I would. I would wear them. It's just a matter of Because they're time. on my face anyway. But you, you think about it. Because I was looking at this company and they're designing these uh, lenses that are liquid. Underpants so that change. generate energy each time you fart. I like the idea. I fart a but lot. But what we're going to do is we're going to put a pin in that. Because it's wasted. And we're going to put it over. I'm going to take it away, we magnet and put it on the fridge and go, well done. Uh -huh. But then the adults will invent cool stuff. Toilets, every time you took a shit. It self flushed. It, the shit generated the energy to flush. So, there was in Dundee. Yeah, the, there was a guy. He designed bus stops, right? Mm -hmm. And he won the award, the 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 the, the thing, the, the 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 job, the contract contract. And the idea, you know, the Dundee bus stops. Is, no, no, they're kind of there's a sleekness to them. Yes, and the all kind of asymmetrical roof. Yeah. The idea was when a bus sat at them mm -hmm. and the engine was idling, the bus shelter drew the heat 
from the idling engine. It's nonsense. And put the heat back out. And that's what was won, and that's what was going to happen. And then they, just did, made up. they didn't do it. It's just made up, and now they've all got smashed well, windies. Well, funnily enough, well, mm. funnily enough, uh, in Cooper. Yes. You know when you drive through Cooper, because nobody stops in Cooper, there's a horse, okay. a metal horse made out of steel. Okay. So I met this guy. He's a nice guy, but he's an architect by trade, as you can imagine. Mm. But I said, he said to him, he lives in Cooper, and he goes, Ken, they were wanting to do a bit of sculpture in Cooper. He says, we're going to do a thing, a call out for artists. He said, fuck that shit, I'll do it. And this is what you mean? He says, I fucking went in CAD. And he said, I just put in horse. <laughs> he said, I put in. So it's like, it's like one of those wooden jigsaw style oh, animals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a horse and then it slots together. It's the worst looking pi- It's worse than those Kelpies. Oh, and wonderful. don't any fucker say they like the Kelpies. The Kelpies are fucking shit. <laughs> shit. That guy's a fucking shithole. Go and look up his Medusa sculpture. It's like a big w- fucking shit. <laughs> and he's so bitter because he was at art school at the time. A lot of famous people came out of Glasgow and he's so bitter. That he wasn't it. famous. You're like that. You're doing you've well, got two mate. Giant fucking giant sculptures in yeah. the middle of a roundabout. But you're, you're, fine. <laughs> you're fucking fuming. You're okay, fuming. It's ridiculous. Get on with it, mate. Ah. Uh, so anyway, fucking kelpies. Now, now we're cut. I'm, I'm. I'm not a. Fu- what I've found in um, Dundee art is you can make anything as long as it's big. It's the Dundee has the worst sculptures. That fucking. Is it, just like, oh, that, I've got a needle, fucking, a needle and thread, but let's make it 18 foot long and stick it in the ground. That, Art. that fucking camper down thing, the, the midget on the plinth through the big... What? The, the jo, Admiral Duncan's... Oh, God. yeah. That's the worst thing. It's, and that polar bear. The, there's just oh. terrible art everywhere. It really oh. is. There just really is. I have to admit that. I'd be the first to... The penguins, penguins and, and the... the, the the now you the know lemmings. how you see the penguins and people knit jumpers for them oh, and put I, it on it. That's called guerrilla knitting. I despise Wait, it. I saw someone Spy. who could only be caught. Um, well, if it's guerrilla knitting, they I think they were a knitting terrorist. And you know how you could tell? Oh. Just not yesterday, the day before, I saw them out on their knitted bicycle. Their bike was wearing a jumper. That's so dangerous. The whole thing. That's fucking mad. Everything was knitted. But it's so perfectly done, the handlebars, since the when, brakes. Since when did dogs all wear clothes? I don't think it's necessary. Did you see, did you ever see? Never saw a like, jacket. I can understand if it's a Mexican hairless dog. Yeah. But why is a Labrador wearing a jacket? Why, right, I've seen collies with jackets uh, on. You see dogs with don't shoes. <laughs> shoes. It's not, it's not like Siberia. It's not the Arctic. It's so weird. They've just, convinced people your dog needs to be fully clothed. No. Can, can you see, like, on YouTube, I hate it. There's a thing, the things that drive me nuts, apart from that block guy, a renegade camper guy, <laughs> is fucking cute wild animal baby pets. And they're just oh. encouraging people to steal. No, no, no. Don't Stick to your fucking domesticated cat pets. The Dogs, other, cats, get a ferret. Yeah. You can't it go wrong. It fucking infuriates me. But you see monkeys... Wearing nappies and oh, clothes. It's awful. And they think it's cute. It's awful. This is a very Victorian way of looking yeah. at things and it's really come back in a big way. No, it's other thing. It's 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 spring watch. It's giving animals names. Wild animal doesn't have a name. If you had a crow that came to your garden every day, you wouldn't have call it like Oh wait, I do, but it's got no name. It's no name. Exactly. Every day. And I just done it and it was in lockdown. You can have a full relationship. It was whistling. You can have a sexual relationship. Back. Well, really. I wouldn't go that far. You can put bird seed in your bell end. I just refer just to it as dude. Dude, yeah. I go, okay. hey dude. And he whistles and he shouts. It's at the same place. Yeah. And he shouts back and he takes off every day. And I'll come out some days and he's not there and vroom, he appears, shouts down. Is it's he- lovely. They can exchange stuff with you. They know the value of things. I've kept him away. Oh. If he gets closer, I show him because there's cats. We've got he does know cat- anything to do with you. I'm not having that. But you seldom see a cat catching a crow. No, they quite they'll, smart. Yeah, they're they'll beat smart. them up. But um, no, he comes now. That started in lockdown. And what a foolish animal. It's been there for years. It's lovely. Yeah, see, it? Just I, that every, I come out this morning sitting there. Because when you're wearing shorts, your legs do look like a crow's legs. Oh my God, my legs... It's it's been described because I've got bandy legs. It looks like someone stole my horse. A sheep at speed could run right between your legs, and you wouldn't have noticed. I wouldn't know. 
wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. In a high you, wind, they do like, whistle. What's this? What it's, is this? It's terrible. They're you look so like, you know when you used to get a Britain's cowboy on horse, mm-hmm. and when you pull him off his horse, his legs just were permanently... I, I was at the physio just oh. the other week, as I told you, uh, and the they said, could you stand it. up and put your knees together? And I went, you're a cheeky cunt. I just said it. I was offended. I, my knees, they, there's like a gap. I could, uh, there's a fist and a half gap uh, like that between my knees. That sounds like rickets. No. Did you? <laughs> what did rickets? you eat growing up? Just tatties. <laughs> It was fine. It was absolutely uh, fine. Uh, I'll see if there's any other text messages. Cause George wanna... Galloway's got bandy legs as well. I That's have. why it's, he wears that It's jacket. a lucky thing. <laughs> We've all got bandy legs. I know. I think we're all good. No more oh, messages. No. Oh, well. Th- thanks for that, people. That was fucking shit as always. No, it was. It was just an utter waste of time, but I do appreciate you the questions. You carried on and going. They, they persist they just do. like us. Yeah, they, they can't, persist. They can't stop. Right, in the last 45 minutes. Oh, t- <laughs> well, 45, 45 minutes. In the last minutes. 15 minutes. <laughs> I like thwarting oh, you. God. It's a great joy of my life, just thwarting your advent- misadventure. Thwarting, mm. I'm going to say, it's right. Neil H., I know you weren't calling me old. You were re- comparing me to turning into Chris Shadowins. I know, but what happened? When How I read your Shadowins? message. Shadowins? Eh? Shadowins is about 70. 73. And when I read your message, I got an idea. Now, this is what happened. Uh. I got the greatest joke that's ever been known to man. In the last show, I started saying the joke, but you derailed me. Oh, that's funny. Right? So much so, I cannot fucking remember the joke. I've even went back on Patreon, read the message, try and put myself in the mindset to get back to what I came up with. Oh, that's wonderful. My job here is done. And it's the greatest joke. Uh. You would have loved it. Everyone would have been laughing for a week solid. Uh People would have died laughing. Uh. And I thought that is the greatest thing I've ever done, uh-huh. and I fucking can't it remember what it was. Was of your entire life because I, I started it because I was going on about oh I'm old I'm not old I'm this I'm that, and I knew I was going somewhere with it. But then you started talking shite, and it wiped my memory, oh. and I cannot remember the greatest joke ever written. Oh. I've spent I've been trying oh, as hard as I can you. to you'll remember. Never, you'll never get back. Don't bother. Just no, don't think about it. It'll come back to you. It's frustrating. I was up till I, three in I, the morning. I, ha, I have been called frustrating in the past. So the the greatest joke, Neil, I, I know what you were saying, and I, I got this idea of, out of your... The Colonel, I'll give you 50% credit for the joke, the greatest joke ever written that will never be heard. Okay. And it was I was so happy <clears throat> about it, and I thought, that's I'll like write the, this that's down. like the Ha Ha Bonk book. But it was just before you came in. I thought, I don't need to write it down. Oh, so it was one of these moments. Foolish. It was just oh, oh, oh. gone. It, was that was that pre monster or post monster? Oh shit! Drink a can of monster. It'll come back to you. Oh, I can't. I can't take the diarrhea again. No, just drink it sitting on my the shitter. arsehole. Was no, raw. just sit in the toilet and drink a lot of. I was about to say lobster. A monster. A monster. No, I'm, I'm not going to. The do toilets that. through here do have a lobstery smell. To be so, in the last twelve minutes. Anyway, going back to where I started the show, uh-huh. I'm not wasting my time online. Glenn Medeiros. You kind of Hold on. I've discovered something. Oh, no. Luke's maxing. Is that making the most of yourself? Yes. Don't bother. Now, wait a minute. You may say, is it by people with eating disorders, mentally ill? Is it by incels? Is it All by those people. alpha males and stuff like that? Yes, it is. But hold on. I know the alpha male guys. They're the worst. I've never heard of this. I tried to buy something for you, but it wouldn't be here in time. And it's a jaw extender. Oh, fucking like And you bite on a thing. Him out of... Right? And it makes your jaw massive. And there's this guy's done it so much, he looks like a flounder. No, it's like... He looks like Predator. Zac Efron. He's he's done... He's had his jaw... He's had something done. He got the bits from fucking uh, Ozzy Osbourne's daughter and got them... Just put them in. Yeah, yeah, Because her jaw's gone. It's gone. She's had her jaw, like... If she walked in here, you'd go, who the fuck are you, hen? They've cracked open her skull and removed bone. Just taken it off. And then it's... She's a fucking idiot. Now, hold on. Because her mother's a fucking piece of shit. Some of the things you can do... Do you moisturise three times a day? Cold water. No, you got to moisturise. No. Right. Do you have high-protein masculine diets? Why did that... That would just make you very farty. I'd, uh, the high, it's like liver masculine, king shit. It's masculine farts. When you you buy clothes, right, you've got to get rid of your wardrobe if you uh, want to I don't have mass. many clothes. Right, I've got... Not, I've got just a couple of things. But here's what you do. Uh-huh. You've got to wear 
expensive shirts, mm. ties, pocket squares. Oh no. Get a very expensive watch. Now you got a watch. Uh-huh. And I've got a good watch. Uh-huh. But I think they want watch with um hands on it and not just numbers. Okay. So I think I'll lose out there. Okay. Okay. Is there a checklist for maximization? Cufflinks. Okay. Spend a minimum of two hundred pounds on your cufflinks. I do have some expensive cufflinks. I don't have any cuffs. I do have cufflinks. Yeah. I wouldn't wear that. I don't. I don't. I would, I would never do- wear a shirt. I, I would, no, never. I'd wear. I'd, if you're getting really dolled up, you get a nice. I've got a nice suit, and you do all that. I don't have a suit, and I don't have a shirt. No, that much is obvious. But um, I would never wear it. If, do you know what happens when you get when you die? But you get, get buried in that. Oh, when I die, it's all planned. I'm that. having. Yeah, I've got no funeral. Imagine the smell when no, they no. burn you. Just no, no, uh, nothing. Not, 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 a, not a, just man-made fibre. No, that's all sorted in my insurance. There's no it's funeral, pure, there's nothing. Nylon. Cat, I'd, I'd trebuchet you into the tea. That, I would accept that. Sky burial, top of this building. I would accept all that, but mm. there's going to be no funeral, nothing. No. No, nothing, that's all planned. Oh, that's nothing, good. I don't have any, I don't. Just like you've never happened. Yes. That's you'll, exa- you, you'll, you'll linger less in the memory than my Do last you, fart. I, when people, even you know well, and people, you, uh, you know, when they, they die, mm-hmm. the, the, this amazing thing happens after someone dies. Uh, time, you get a real grasp that time moves. Because suddenly they, they just start drifting away into oh the yeah. past very fast. Oh, yeah. And the next thing you know, you go, it's been two weeks. Uh-huh. It's been a month. Yeah. It's been a year. It's Time's been a great healer. Zoom. Zoom. They zoom into the past. You and I haven't got long left. That's it. But no one will that, remember me when I'm dead. An 18-year-old doesn't have much le- time left. No, t- life is very short. Very fleeting. It's like um, the last time I remember uh, an age, I couldn't believe I was turning 30. I yeah, thought I oh was yeah. old as fuck. I remember being a decade old and thinking, fuck, that's a long time. It's not. I was like, do you know what I mean though? That's not right. And I remember... Chris Shadowing's running out of time. I could remember in the past 10 years. Yeah. Do you remember that stage in your life? Yeah. You go, yeah, 10 years oh, ago. 10 years, yeah. Now I'm saying 40 years ago. Yeah, fuck it's it. It's wild. No, d- I don't I don't like all that in the past. But anyway, mm-hmm. Luke's maxing. Okay. There's lots remember of the woman, she was in Wogan years ago and she had the face exercises to keep herself young. This is it. And it did work. There's a thing called... Their body was grotesquely old, but her face was so There's beautiful. a thing called mewing, and that's the... You know, and it's by these doctors called Mew. Yeah. And they've been struck off. It's pseudoscience. Yeah, it's yeah. nonsense. Mm-hmm. But they were saying, instead of your looks being genetic, it's because of your vibe or some shit. You know, oh, it's just nonsense. Garbage. So you can actually improve your looks. Uh-huh. There's one guy, I was watching him, and he said, if you are above... 15% body fat, uh-huh. you're fat. 15%. The thing is, having the body fat, my mother always says, you either would thin or wither. So it's a choice you make. You get really fit, but you've got a right wrinkly face. Yeah. Or you put on a wee bit of weight and it smooths out the wrinkles. Well, this is the, That's the why heaviest I've ever happy. been. Because I can't walk. Ah, okay. I've never been this heavy. I think I'm like 13 stone. I'm heavy that's, as fuck that's, 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 yeah, that's yeah, that's quite a lot. I'm heavy now. Six foot. Yeah, that's quite What's heavy. What's that? Nah, that's quite heavy. You're fat. What's that in pounds? You're fat. What's 14, 13? I don't know, but it's fat. I don't know. I'm fat. I'm feeling it. I can see it. Because I can't you walk. You sweat more. You've got a sweaty. I don't smell sweat. You sweat. You've got I don't sweat. Pech. You Never pech sweat. sweat. Uh, pech. You pech. pech and sweat. Nutrition. Rich in fruits. Vegetables. That's why there's so many air fresheners in here. Lean protein and complex hydro... Ugh. Car- Ugh. I don't know. Probably best avoid simple... Do you know that stuff? There's that athletic greens. So that all the podcasts we don't because we've I got don't. no sponsorship. No, but they have athletic greens, which is a protein. It's like a powder. It's got everything in it you need to survive. But it tastes like shit. It'll taste like shit, and you won't survive on it. And then there's another one. There's a there's a fucking protein breakfast cereal, and it comes in different flavors. And I saw a guy oh, taste no, no, no. tastes like absolute shit. Physical fitness. Oh God! Right. Strength training, cardio, well proportioned body makes t- tailored cl- clothing oh look God. even better. So everyone's tailored, it's tight. No, you wear no, a suit that's no. like. But do you imagine g- on me? It looked no, like a suit on a knickknack. But that's a th- no, no. It's as terrible as you look. If you went to a proper tailor, he would get you a su- the the skill of the tailoring is to make the terrible look good. A tailored hoodie. So, no, but guys who are all muscle muscle gym body guys yeah. look terrible in suits. It ill fit and it looks stupid. 
It does You're look You're better bad. to be shambolic. The French. They can look great in like a right old crumpled suit. That's right, I could look great yeah. there. Level two, now your wardrobe overhaul. Le- uh, leather shoes, fitted suits, silk uh-huh. ties, silk shirts, expensive socks, very important. Other men will uh, notice. This is dressing for other men. This is not dressing no, for I women. No, I always wear um, wool socks, merino wool. It, your feet sweat less. They're wonderful. I've, so I I'm never big, wear matching don't buy, socks. Don't buy cheap sports socks. They don't last and they make your feet smell. I know, you're just, Look, it's, it's terrible. But not I don't, matching. Yeah, yeah. Never wear matching socks. Wear a, wear, a, wear a thin sock. Never wear matching socks. It's illegal. I'm not sure what socks I've got. No, I don't care about socks. No, I socks. like new socks all the time. Why don't you care about socks? It's important. But I wear uh, I've lot, lots of pairs, uh-huh. and I like uh, replacing them regularly. Uh-huh. But, but, you should, but I don't you, care the quality. If you buy expensive socks, you don't have to replace them regularly. They last you for years. Oh, right. I don't know if I want that. Yeah, it's better. Status watch. Hmm. Expensive watch and status watch are two different things. But you the must o- get the right name. The only person that notices these watches is other watch enthusiasts. Yes. Yeah. This is what this is for. This I have is, been approached you're, by a man you're Im- impressing like your watch. Other yeah. Luke's maxers. Oh, but guys go to the gym. They're not checking out the women. They're no, checking out is, each other. Exactly. Yeah. Forget seasonal trends. Choose colours and textures that resonate with you. Like my Debbie Gibson t-shirt. If you see an old person... Yeah. The tendency of older guys, my gra- I remember my granddad and that, they just wore right dowdy colours, browns Not me. and greys. No, you've maybe hit there a bit early. But oh. if you see an old person in really colourful clothes, it makes them zip. I like it. That's going to be me. And you've got to smile. Uh, over 40 as a man, you have to smile. Nothing sadder than a sad man, middle-aged man. Smile. We smile, smile all the time. No, I don't. No, you <laughs> don't. I was including you to make you feel better. But you're Speaking horrific. of colourful clothes, <clears throat> Radio 4 was on the other day. It was Kirsty Young. Love Kirsty Young's voice. Okay. But she's doing a thing where she's got a celebrity. Mm-hmm. And it's words of advice for the younger self. It's this oh. nonsense. Oh, Grayson Perry was on. Now, I, I went to see a show of his in London the Tomb of the Unknown Craftsman, which is one of the greatest art shows I saw. I really, really enjoyed it. Okay. <sighs> he was interviewed. What a dick. Oh, no. Well, he's Sir Grayson Perry. Ah. Uh, and you know what his argument was for ac- accepting the Sir? Oh, uh, uh, not an argument. What's his excuse? What's his excuse? Yeah. For, what do you think? <sighs> I couldn't possibly think, because that's not a person I thought would have it. Being anti-establishment now is to be the establishment. Oh, fuck you. See, listen, get him on this show and I'll just tell you, shut and he up. Dis- <coughs> shut and they up. said he's a wonderful documentarian. Have you seen any of his TV shows? They're shite. Oh, for he's, he's, fuck's He's got sake. no fucking concept. He's no concept. That's annoyed me. But, sir, I was disappointed That's by him. That's annoyed me. Uh, you were disappointed by Skin. Skin, uh, I was... Why? Why accept that? I couldn't understand it. Why accept that, Hen? Why? Why? Debra. <coughs> Why? She knelt in front of the big lugs. Oh, imagine kneeling. I have fucking... Imagine I have she been took, the biggest... what you should have done. What? Tina sawed off him and whacked his head right off. Oh, that'd be I'd great. have been fucking, yes. Skin. I've said it. Kate Bush, mm-hmm. Annie Lennox and Skin. Greatest voices out of this you country. Love, you love Big Annie. They're all wonderful. Aberdonian. Ab- uh, despite that, she overcame it and done something of value. Yeah. And then you go and get your yeah. OBE or whatever. As Annie it was. Lennox isn't Sir Dame Annie Lennox. No, I don't think. I yeah. think she might be I less she likely just, to take it. I don't think she would take it. I, I hope she, she would. I'd hope she wouldn't. But I was. I just couldn't believe Skin would do Dame it. Kate Bush. I don't think I so. I don't think so. They're both. Uh, but then again, on the Masked Singer, mm-hmm. I'm always looking at Skunk and Nancy oh, old videos. She was on, that she was on the Masked Singer. Oh no! She was a trout, and they took the head off oh, and the skin. Oh no! It's sad. And I was like, because that's a show for washed up people. Is she skint? Yeah. Is she really out of money? Yeah, she is must she be. Like, and if she's struggling, we all need to work, okay? No, do a tour. But yeah. Write a song. Oh, it's, does it, people let you love down. Love her. Don't. People let you I got down. Her, I got her solo albums and I got it. People collect let, all her. People let you down. B sides and everything. People. Oh. Like Britain's Grace Jones. But a million times better because oh, Grace, Grace Jones, Jones was great, but she was also Couldn't awful. sing. If you listen to. Um, Demolition Man Sting wrote Demolition Man for her I think in 81 right. Then he done it again for in 93 for the film um, It's awful He done a good version But her, her version is 
It's terrible. A school teacher singing in a fake Jamaican accent. Level three, hair and grooming. Cheeky cunts. Okay, I don't have that. Natural glow and a sun-kissed glow is vitally important. Splash of cold water on your face. Lip can care. We can do pinch your cheeks. Makes your cheeks rosy. Oh, God, all that. Oh. oh. Now, here's here's what you do. Now, there's I've been learning this. Oh, okay. You've got to become the wolf, the hunter, to attract women. So what you do is you have to squint your eyes and look at them like, what the fuck are you on about? Women don't like being stared at. Hold on. Hold on. Well, you're wrong because according to this, you according stare at them mm. intensely, smouldering, mysterious, glaze. unblinking, and stare at them in your eyes like, and put your jaw as if you're about to bite. Uh. Now I am attractive to all women. Mm. All women are now, they can't control themselves. I saw a guy in the street the other day. Look at that. And he's a blind guy. And he had two glass eyes. So <laughs> he'd been born. Oh, this isn't funny, but he'd been born. He'd been born without eyes, or he lost his eyes, <laughs> and he had these funny. two glass eyes. Yeah. So he just had this stare. And I but bet how he do makes you know people the from, from, Oh no, they're not round, are they? They're sort of a cup. They're a cup. Yeah, yeah they're a cup. There was a woman, a guy in my hometown lost his eye, and he used to pop out, spitting it, rub it, and stick it, polish it in his lapel, and stick it back in his eye. There's a because the socket fills up, doesn't it? On Instagram, there's a a, a young woman. She's a teacher in in the states and she has one glass eye but it's all cool eyes every day yeah. it's a different cool yeah. eye have you seen when the the people the, the eye artists the glass workers they make eyes and paint them to match see a kid's lost oh, it's, born with it. wonderful it's the work. most glorious stuff wonderful work yeah fantastic doing something of value yeah just really cool it's like when you watch the guys making is it the jai you see the wee kid. foot yeah the jaipur foot yeah wonderful and they make out of bits and, and it's the most uh, you see these kids Leg missing. Yeah. They put it on them and it's not like rehabilitation. They're saying we play football. No, they they throw up, a ball out and, and they're up and running. Up and running. Fucking great. It's yeah, the most it's amazing super, thing. It's super. And then the Jaipur foot, you can actually donate to get uh limbs made in that. Right, it's okay. very cheap. Throw a load of money their way. Well there amazing used to work. be there used to be the Derek ba Derek Bader. Douglas Bader. Douglas Bader <laughs> Limb a Center in the way to the ferry. A cunt. It's now housing now. Come, a notorious cunt. An absolute He had cunt. a man who used to have to carry him about and he'd call him his beast of burden. Carry him about. He's a fucking... Hated by everybody. He's a cunt. He's that a people bastard. That, uh, he took off in his plane. Mm. Got shot down. Lost a leg. No, got I think, in another plane. Got shot down. No, lost think, another leg. I think he crashed before the war, didn't he? He was always crashing. He had knee legs. Didn't they give him a fucking plane? You know how the Germans stopped him from escaping? They just took his legs off him. Took his legs. Famous cunt. Yeah, oh, he's a, a horrible he's, man. He's terrible. I, yeah, I, awful. I'd met him several times and he's a complete prick. Oh, yeah. He's a, a complete... Because he had... He was all involved with Dundee and Fife and there was yeah, all this yeah. shit going on. Yeah. Just, and, it, and it was through some someone I actually met But him. weirdly, you'd kind of need... I was a kid. He was, so, he was driven so much. A nice person would have probably crumbled. Yeah. He was just such a cunt. He, he was such a with. cunt. Even the war couldn't make him less of a the cunt. The people he was in coldest with didn't like him. Nobody liked the cunt. And he said, I'm the most important person. He took here. his legs. They I, flattened his legs and made it into wings I for their have, glider. I would have shortened one. <laughs> <laughs> Just took an inch off it. it Every day. No, weld extra length on his toes so he couldn't get any shoes. Uh, Fuck him. <laughs> it's a little, little bit of mild steel around it. So we Magnetise them. We barely... <laughs> he's walking along and forks are stuck to him. We barely touched on... Um, uh, uh, looks maxing and face maxing. I barely touched you, but barely. it's a uh, it's something that exists. Ah, it's just it's fa fascinating. It's it's, it's this, nonsense. It's this. It's fascinating. It's this fucking. A lot of men, young guys, have this insecurity. Yeah, and I think they're being told to be insecure. Oh, it's, it's be, becoming a thing. Uh, you're encouraged to be yeah, insecure. You're trying, and to, even if you're not, you've just got normal growing pains. Being a teenager and growing is not easy. It's not easy. And the last thing you want is some chinless fucking oink like that. Yeah. Bloody Andrew Tate said he's got the answer. That yeah, man's no answer. clearly not got the answer. Clearly not. Good. Look at Keanu Reeves is a nice role model. Lovely for guy. Lovely guy. Yeah, Keanu Reeves. He's like an action star. He just seems like a nice fucking guy. Patrick Swayze. Yeah. He was. He could dance. He wasn't. I. I like the laddie that's in the a pole dark and stuff. He knows he's about eye candy, and he's just happy with it. He just seems like a chilled kind of guy. That's a people being you nice, need. being yeah. gentle, 
being all these things are not weaknesses. No. You're being told, no, you've got to be a warrior and stuff like that. <clears throat> Do you know, I oh. spoke this before, did we? Tyrant. The national parks in America. Mm -hmm. So the national parks were around the 19th century. Okay. They were built and started because they thought that the American male was becoming feminized. It's the same air. So it's the same, same bollocks. Bullshit. And they thought what men needed to do was to go out and chop wood. That was the solution to everything. It's, uh, In the modern world, we're going towards a thing. Women are thriving more because the modern world suits the, the female mind. It's the, the, they've got emotional intelligence. They've got all these kind of skills we don't have. But men can learn these fucking things. Of course. I'm no one to spend a day down a fucking mine. Exactly. Hacking at a seam of coal. Exactly. Not with these hands. No. Look, I almost lost a thumb to a, you did. a, a little fucking oh. basket. It's just bullshit. They worry about men. I went in, I went in this morning. The, the blood is still on the floor. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> The blood is still everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Drops of it all the way out. They're monetizing. I suppose w women, maybe you could say, women have always been bombarded with shit. Yeah, it's just there the, was always, men are getting it now. There was always women having these solution. Diet gurus mm -hmm. was the bane of women's and, lives. And the thing is, with all these things, we're now finding out that it wasn't as sexist. And now it's not as sexist as you think. It's just people want money. Yeah. They don't care what well, sex you are. They everything. don't care. No. They just want your money, male yeah. or female. Yeah. And you could look back around and say, no, it was all this towards women or it's all this towards men. But no, yeah. it's cunts I, wanting your money. I think... The end. I think I work with quite a number of women and I've noticed the women my kind of age, they still have a bit of a this diet treadmill. All right, okay. They're just obsessing with it all the time. The younger lasses, oh, fuck that shit. Oh, see, that's... It's, it's a lot better. It's a lot better. You should Again, like, back 50s housewives were all on amphetamines. See, here's the thing, though. You don't make someone care for themselves by talking to them like they're a piece of shit. No. So, like, you hear all these, these gurus for men, alpha males, telling men, here's oh. what's wrong with you. Here's yeah. what's and wrong I, with and you. I have the they solution. don't tell you what's right with you. Exactly. No, There's the loads. Solution. It's it's nonsense. You need to be more positive and and you know, and when people then care about but themselves, wear socks. they'll look after themselves. Don't be one of those young people that doesn't wear socks. Ladies and gentlemen, that was another folk in Scotland. <laughs> Join us on Patreon where you can see the full video version of this for just a couple of dollars a Nothing. month. That's, starting. That's less than the thing of a, a big bottle of fucking proper brand red And sauce. we have merch that you could buy also. Somebody bought a t-shirt. Someone though, bought a t-shirt. It's the first in the year. But listen, we will be updating our... Uh, we were talking before we came in. There's something in here that I saw and I went, that's got to go on a t-shirt. Mm. And it's very, very good. I and hope... Yeah, that somebody wearing one of our t-shirts doesn't get involved in something like a mass shooting. Oh, for fuck's sake! Uh, why would you say that? Because that'd be really depressed me. So if well, you get uh, if you get to do any heinous, listeners, leave the t-shirt in the house. Put on like a crowded house t-shirt. Crowded house, crowded yeah, house t-shirt for your mass shooting, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Wash your balls. Wash your balls. Remember, ball, bring I, it back. I cut you off last time, and you went uh, wash, and I, I cut wash. you off. Ah. Uh, Wash your balls. Wash your balls. Wash your masculine balls. Until next time, later. And a nice feminine soap. <laughs> Ta-da. Oh, it's off.